A show of fury in Guadalajara against alleged police brutality. The arrest and death of construction worker Giovanni Lopez a month ago has caused controversy and conflicting accounts in Mexico's second largest city. Police say the 30-year-old was detained for disturbing the peace. But this video shared widely on social media provoked protests. Not far from the city, bystanders identify the man being shoved into a vehicle as Lopez. They say police were using excessive force and that he was arrested for not wearing a mask. They're mandatory to prevent the coronavirus spread. Police say he was taken out of his cell for medical treatment and died hours later. The police deny brutality, but protesters are demanding accountability. While some use batons to smash police vehicles, some police officers pick up whatever they can to fend off protesters. One policeman had petrol poured over him and set on fire. The governor of Jalisco State says video of Lopez's arrest doesn't show the reality. The misleading way in which they made everyone in Jalisco believe that Giovanni was arrested for not wearing a mask, that's already been exposed by the public prosecutor. And what happened today was the cherry on the cake. It was the way in which they allowed a legitimate protest, a protest for a cause, to be infiltrated and turned violent. The government minister for human rights accuses the police of using excessive force, saying it's a clear violation of human rights and he's condemning the events in which police use force for preventative measures. Protests have swelled across Mexico in solidarity with George Floyd's death in the United States. But many Mexicans are also dealing with their own issues with the police where they live. Human rights groups have collected years of evidence of police brutality, torture and extrajudicial killings. And protesters in Guadalajara says what happened to Giovanni Lopez is the latest example of that, and they're demanding justice. Laura Baden Manley, Al Jazeera.